water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them, but... I believe we have heard that story a thousand times. Do you not have some other stories to tell? Very well. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there were a people whose entire culture valued honor and glory in combat. For ages, they battled against another people, the Jedi, Knights of the Republic, wielders of the Force. Oh, now we are getting somewhere. These Jedi, what were they like? To the innocent, a noble inspiration. To the Republic, a valuable asset and ally. To the corrupt, a power whom they shall fear. And to you? An order where intentions are noble and knowledge is imparted, but is hampered by empty traditions for one who claims to be connected to the Force. And what of the Force? The Force is a current flowing through all life. It is ever-changing. It is not bound by the rules set by the Jedi. And in turbulent waters, rigid structures of old will be engulfed by the waves, as history has proven time after time. But one whose foundation is built upon versatility, the storm it shall survive. Better for he who gains his wisdom from all than he who gains from only one. My student was like that once, learning from each master on many planets. But in the end, he came back to me, finding what he had learned lacking. Would you rather have had him remain at your feet? Such sources of experience and wisdom must not be littled. The Avatar masters all four of the elements. To be a master of all, one is to be discipled by all. The ferocity of fire, the freedom of air, the adaptability of water, and the resilience of Earth. The peace of the Jedi, the passion of the Sith. There is little truth in either of them. There is no truth in them but what we have learned and acquired. To simply shun them away out of bitterness makes life stale and boring. Indeed. Truth is relative. There is no truth in a lifeless thing like the Force, but there is truth in her. It would appear so. Oh, yes. Could you tell me more about your powers? The Force provides a variety of powers in combat. The Jedi tend to use defensive techniques such as telekinesis to push objects away, while the Sith favor more aggressive powers such as lightning. You have to admit that it is cool to be able to channel lightning. The number of Sith acolytes who flock to that ability too many to count, but it drains one's energy too quickly in combat. Mastering the ability is not the same as learning the ability. Lightning bending is much appreciated for its rarity among the four nations. Admittedly so. Such techniques which are lost to time become a stuff of legend. But better for such dangerous powers to be kept a secret, especially from those power-hungry crazies who need to go down. A sentiment we shall share over a cup of tea, perhaps? Of course.